really haunted places, does not support or endorse trespassing to visit haunted places. Before you decide to visit, please make sure to acquire the appropriate permits and or permissions, and be respectful of properties that are privately owned. Good evening. Welcome to Really Haunted Places. Tonight's top seven ghost stories will take you to haunted places in Charlotte, North Carolina. The first on our list is Cajun Queen. Queen is a Cajun restaurant situated in one of the oldest houses in the area. Its ghost is said to have been a former owner who is annoyed that in her old bedroom now stands a bar. However, others say she shows up because she just wants a drink. The next one on our list is the Dunhill Hotel. The Dunhill Hotel is the oldest hotel in Charlotte and probably the most haunted as well. Although it draws in tourists with its elegant and luxurious charm, many visitors have reported hearing voices and noises while staying at the hotel. Others have experienced chills in air and a prickle up their spine as they describe the feeling of being watched while sleeping at the hotel. Moving on to the next one on our list is the historic Lata Plantation. Lata Plantation is a historic cotton plantation located in Huntersville, which is about 25 minutes north of Charlotte. Standing since the 1800s, Lata Plantation is now a tourist attraction where visitors can take guided tours around the old home and learn about what it was like to live and work on a plantation in early 19th century Piedmont. The spirits of the Latta family, the original owners of the home, are still thought to inhabit the house today. Many visitors report hearing the sounds of children laughing under the porch or doors slamming throughout the house. Next on our list is McAlpine Creek Park. McAlpine Creek Park is known for a haunted trail that keeps visitors alert while hiking the area. When walking the trail, you'll come across an old mill house where a skeleton was once found and its spirit restlessly haunts the trail. Hikers have reported hearing footsteps and seeing shadows while walking this trail alone. Moving on to the next one on our list is Founders Hall. Founders Hall is a modern shopping center that at one time served as a medical school. It is also one of the most haunted buildings in Charlotte. Story has it that in the early 1800s, Founders Hall served as a medical school in what was called Founders College at the time. The medical school used cadavers stolen from private graves to practice their techniques, and rumor has it that a woman whose body was stolen and sold to the school continues to haunt Founders Hall today, expressing her displeasure for being moved from her grave. Some people have even seen what looks like a young girl crying and screaming, walking through Founders Hall in the evenings. Next on our list is the McGlohan Theatre. Where McGlohan Theatre now sits was once the site of a church, built in the late 1800s. However, it was replaced by the current building in 1903 and still served as a church. In the early 1950s, it was transformed into what is now McGlohan Theatre and it is one of the most haunted places that Charlotte has to offer. Employees say that when they are in the basement they can hear someone singing upstairs, even though they know that it is empty. They have also reported the sound of phantom footsteps when they know that they are alone in the building. Our final stop is the Queen's University. Queen's University is a top-notch private college in the heart of the Myers Park neighborhood. Brick buildings beneath a canopy of large oak trees paint a picture-perfect scene for a college campus. Walkers, joggers, and cyclists passing by the campus may stop every now and then to take in its beauty, but they have no idea about the spirits that haunt its hallways. One particular disturbing story tells of a young woman who attended the college in the 1800s and was a resident of Albright Hall. 
While there, she met and fell in love with a classmate, another woman. In this time period, many disapproved of the relationship, including her parents, who threatened to disown her when they learned of it. The story goes that the girl slit her wrists in despair and can be heard walking and banging around the halls calling for her lover. Another story out of Queens takes place in the courtyard, where students have reported seeing what looks like a body hanging from one of the trees and Civil War soldiers lying on the ground. I want to thank you for watching our top 7 ghost stories in Charlotte, North Carolina. Don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to our channel for more thrilling adventures. Also, leave your comments below and let us know about your own spooky experiences in any of these haunted places. Until then, good night.